Welcome everyone to our group tonight. I can see we're all growing and I can see some new faces here today. Hi. I was a third year Bible college student. I was convinced that nothing would uproot me. I went to Bible college on a Tuesday, Living Life group on a Wednesday, and two services on a Sunday. I was surrounded by the Word. My sister started au pairing last year. The hours are quite flexible and the pay is really good. You should consider it. I could do that. And that's when I met him. started as a simple or pairing job became a mind game of temptation and manipulation. You don't want me to leave! Because I'm doing this! I'm just please! God, just go because you're a waste of my time! One thing led to another and before I knew it, he persuaded me to make a mistake. She said I'm um, pregnant. Who? I went to the Ghani today and um, and she said I'm pregnant. And then it's ectopic. Uh, what's that? It is um when the embryo starts forming outside of the uterus. It's extremely dangerous and can become fatal for the mother. I'm praying for you, and Tanya's praying for you too. If you need anything, don't hesitate to call me. I thought back of the night that I was in theatre, and before the inhibitors pushed me into theatre, the prayer I prayed to God, we all asked Him to please keep this beautiful child inside of me safe, and if He does, that I would dedicate this child to Him, just like Hannah dedicated her child to God. Well, seems like I've got some good news and some bad news for you. Good news is you'll be able to have children again in future as I have seemed to misdiagnose you. Bad news is I didn't know whether you wanted to keep the baby, so I terminated the pregnancy. The first people that I spoke to was my living life group. It's the only people that I trusted at that point with what was going on in my life. So uh, family, Chantal is going through a lot right now, so we need to be there for her in this time of need. Because that's what family's about, right? After many attempts of suicide, and if it wasn't for the pastors that kept on knocking at my door every single time that those thoughts came into my head, I probably wouldn't be here. So, apparently, I was still pregnant after all of that. And this is the precious little miracle, Shantae Rebecca Dupria. I see God. Yes, you kept you safe. God. God kept you safe, yes. We would recommend a living life group to any person out there. Because if it wasn't for the living life group, I could honestly say that I don't think either of us would still be here today. You're not just a number in the church. If you are, it's because you're not going to a living life group. You need to become part of one. 
it's, it's, your, it's your family in Christ. And it's a close group that carries each other through times of need. Thank you to each and every single one of you. Make a difference in your life. Make a difference in other people's lives by living life together.